I wanted to take a quick look at how you might translate a Word document in Travis Studio that contained track changes in such a way that you could retain the changes and translate the changes themselves so that the target document contained the original format of the file and the translated track changes. So to do that, I've got a simple document like this, just three segments and four or five simple changes. I'm just going to translate this going Welsh to English. So I open the file up. And the first thing you see when I open that file is that I'm just going to turn off this formatting so it's clearer to see. And maybe I'll also just um, make that a bit bigger as well so we can see what we're looking at. So nice and clear. So the first thing I'm going to do because I can't see the track changes here, is open the file again in such a way so that I can see the track changes. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'll close that file because it's obviously not what I want. And I'm going to go into my options, which was file options. And if I come down here into file types, you can see I have three different types of Word file types. I've got the old doc file type, 2000 to 2003. Then I've got two docx type file types. One which was the 2007 to 2013, and the second is the 2007 to 2016. That's the one that I'm using at the moment. Now if I click on this file type and click on common, you'll see there's an option here to apply track changes before opening. The default setting on this, if I just reset to defaults, is that this is ticked. And so this means that if you open a file like I just did, which contains track changes, then it will apply the track changes and then open the file. And that's not what I want. I don't want it to apply those track changes, so I'm going to uncheck that. If you were using the other file type, it's slightly different. So the default on this is to apply the changes again before opening, but you have a couple of options. You can ignore documents with pending changes. And if you do that, it will bring up a little warning that says there are track changes in the document. You can't open it. You can apply them before changing, or you can display the pending changes. But I'm using the 2007 to 2016 version, so I have I did uncheck it, didn't I? So I've unchecked it. Um, if you have a doc file, you don't have this capability. There is no mechanism in here for dealing with, um, with this other than to use this little box. It just allows you to process the file, but you can't actually see the changes in the file using the doc. So I'm gonna go back and do it again. Translate single document, double click the file, open it. And this time when it opens, I can see the track changes. Now, if I click on review mode, where I have the track changes here, I've got one option here to look at the, the, to look at the text in final mode. And if I do that, you'll see the track changes disappear and I see the final translation. What would be nice here would be to have a um, pre-track changes or pre-editing mode so that you could see what it looked like beforehand because then it would be a lot clearer, but I don't have that. So I'm going to have to translate it in this mode. So if I do that just very quickly, so this text was written by Paul is the first one. And I'll just confirm that segment. It takes me down to the second one and I go, it's a simple text. So it's hard to understand. So that's sort of the translation prior to me making any changes in that Word document. So I'm ignoring the fact that Paul is crossed out and um, I'm translating the Paul. So the next thing I'm going to do in order to translate this and represent the changes the same as it is in the source document, I want to actually click on track changes to activate them. So every change I make now to the translation will be recorded. So now I want to change this. So I say this text was written by me. And when I do that, you see now I have the track changes. It's a, and I better confirm that. It's a difficult text. Difficult text. So it's hard to follow. So that's it. So I've now translated the track changes as well. And now if I save the target document, I'll just put a little T in front of that. 
Now if I go back over here and open the file, you can see now it's showing with track changes um, in the Word document. And this should actually be properly um, properly annotated as, re as track changes. If I click on review mode, if I was to just accept all the changes, how do I do that? Accept, accept all changes. You can see it does it. So these are proper track changes. If I undo that, proper track changes that have been saved in the target document exactly as intended. So if I was given a task like that, I could do it in studio this way.